YouTube, Never 82 here, back again once again today, people. Today, today, people, today, we don't get to do this very often, but we are here for episode number one of a brand new Pokemon Let's Play here on our channel. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for episode number one of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and I am so excited. I know when everyone first heard this game was coming out, everyone's all in the funks and the grumps about it, but then over the past couple months, so much new information has come out about it, and I cannot wait to dive in. If you guys are hyped for some Ultra Sun, the sleeves are coming up, goddammit. The sleeves are coming up, goddammit. If you guys are hyped for some Ultra Sun and Moon, and of course, we are proud member of the Happy Nation. Make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. We're gonna dive into this because we speak English, god damn it. And I want to go ahead and introduce myself to those of you guys who may be new here. If this is your first time joining us. Hello, my name is the King Nappy, Nappy the Great, Nappy, whatever you want. Old bald head ass nigga, Nappy, whatever you want to don't call me. I know some of you niggas are gonna see. Oh, we're we gonna over. No, anyways, hello, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel. If you can't tell already, we are loud, we are boisterous. We may not exactly be PG, but I guarantee you we will have a blast in this Let's Play. So if you like what you see and want to show your support, hit that subscribe button for us. And of course, everybody here who's already a member of the Nappy Nation knows, can't nobody Let's Play a game like the motherfucking Nappy Nation can, God damn it! Can't nobody Let's Play a game like the motherfucking Nappy Nation can. Because you already know, we kicking stuff off today. Episode 1 of our Ultra Sun Ultra Moon playthrough with an hour of power god damn it an hour of power and just like last year with our sun moon let's play every 10th episode will be an hour so episode one hour episode 10 hour episode 20 hour etc 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 until we are done enough talking i want to get into this god damn it we have a message from the alola region's own professor kakui oh this is a stranger i've never met him before hey wow Why was his introduction so angelic and like, whoo, here is our sexy ass professor. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so we've done two Let's Plays with Kakui on the channel so far, and he's had two different voices. I think it's time to go back to the original Kakui. <laughs> the one that wasn't retconned to a whole different voice. Kakashi, hang on now, give me just a sec. Ah, Alola there, brother. Hey there, good afternoon. So today it's finally come that you're moving to Alola. Ah, Alola is a region made up of several islands. It could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Yeah, Kakashi. So, such mysterious creatures. Ah, oh, you'll find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky, in the sea, Kakashi. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps, too. Some of us see them battle with them if we call themselves Pokemon Trainers. Rock rough, cute and fly, I'll play with you later, so cool your jets, Kakashi. Ugh. Yo, the only part of that that's Mike Guy is when I say Kakashi. Everything else doesn't sound anything like him. Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So which photo should I use for your trainer passport? I don't know, Kakui. You the fucking professor. I'm the I'm the new one here. You tell me. What the hell what, what am I what am I supposed to use, goddammit? Bro. We ain't that black. 
We need that black. We need that black. <laughs> Let me be honest. Let me spell out your name. So again, if you've been here for a while, if you've been here before, you already know. Yo, look at this top screen. It's so fucking liquidy, dog. God damn. You already know I got to spell my name in all caps. Ever since I was a kid, you know, I was dumb as a bag of hammers. And I didn't know you could make it lowercase. So every Pokemon game until I suddenly dawned upon me that I can make it lowercase has had my name in all caps and it's just become a thing now. Like it's just it's just in a, it was it's weird to me if I don't play a Pokemon game and my name's not in all caps. I know what you want. I know what you want, dog. Ten four good buddy Kakashi. I'll let everyone out here know you're on your way. A Kakashi no, it's, he says first. He says my name, Nappy. Oh, I just got chills now, boss ball. Could we say my name? <laughs> yeah, that's a day that hits you like a chop kick right in the head. Woo! Can't wait to see you in person, then, cousin. Kakashi, Kakashi, huh, Kakashi Sensei. I'm gonna do 600 laps around the village and 900 push-ups. Nappy, come help me with these boxes. I'm actually interested to see. Oh, my boy got the juice. MY BOY GOT THE JUICE! YOU SIT ON THE DESK, MY BOY GOT THE JUICE! I'm actually interested in seeing what changes in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon versus the first one, because apparently it's a story told in an alternate universe. So Lily's still running, still being annoying as they come. She is a track and field star! Look at her go! Oh my goodness! Carrying that bag around her neck too. What? Wait, that's different. Was it? I feel like it's the same animation. I feel like before there were Team Aether people there and Sun and Moon, and they had the same animation. Woo! Look at that logo! Oh my God, bro! Look at that logo! Mm, boy, mm, boy! I can't wait to get to this one right here. Three months later. But yeah, that was the same animation, right? It's just this time it's the Ultra Recon Squad. Huh. Huh. How intriguing. <laughs> There's a big ass island in Kalei Bay or whatever that was up there. Will you find that gone? Big ol' island up there this time. Whoa, 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 Slow your roll. No running on the island. Yo, look at these flowers we got. Oh. This timeline's so much fancier than the other. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. This is so classy. Oh, it's so cool. got flowers. So Bob's got style, class, grace, elegance. Oh, I see you. Oh, you look like a snack today, Mom. If we wasn't related, I'm telling you right now, I swamp both them cheeks so fast. Ah, can't you just feel the warmth the first day spent under a Lola sun? It's so warm and bright here. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth, go and get nappy for me, would you? Meowth, I like your fucking butler. I don't want to get this. He's in the bathtub, and that's got water, especially wet water. No, he says I hate water, especially wet water. Yo, this is Meowth POV. We have a switch now. You see that? There's a Nintendo Switch on the floor. Oh, Nintendo, and your silly product placement. Oh, you're so. You're so what's that picture signed by? These are answers I need to know. We have a Poly World rug? Bro! Okay, I gotta go to the Pokemon Center website, and they better have a goddamn Poly World rug on there. That's all I know. Look at the pincer blanket! What the f What? Dog! What up, little meow? What up with you, little ugly? Sorry, sorry. Yo, actually, hold on. Before I put my shit on, it's an autograph you got from a gym leader in Kanto. They wrote, Good luck. What? It's an autograph we got from a gym leader in Kanto? Ruinously comfy that you could waste your whole life lazing about on one. Dog, look at this fucking rug! That's lit! Bro, I would totally have. Kanto seems awfully far away. Bro. Bro. Who is it? Who is it? I want to know who the who the new the new the new. That's it. We don't we don't put our shit on. 
Like, you know what? Fine. I'm out this bitch. You want let me put my clothes on? I'll grin out here butt-ass naked. Dick just swanging, dog. Knock all the fruit off the table, dog. <laughs> I'm from Canto. I got a big old dick, dog. Gen 1's kind of penis. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy now. And just look, it's already daytime here. It's completely the opposite of Canto, but then we are so far away here in Alola. So, Nappy, are you excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Of course! Hi! That's right, I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? It might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself just how friendly Pokemon are. Right, Nappy? Go and get ready for a bit of exploring. Your bag and hat and things should be hanging on your coat stand in your room. And didn't you leave your copy of Adventure Rolls on your desk too? Uh, first off, I can't read, bitch. Thanks for rubbing it in. I don't appreciate that. GIMME! Grab my bag and hat. Ready to go, son. Ready to go, son. Look at your boy. Swim trunks on deck. Ready for any kind of weather, any kind of situation. We out here. Ready to go. Next to the good luck poster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh! Go! I want to be the very best. Now you look ready for anything. But even so, Nappy, try to be careful walking through the tall grass. Still, I have to admit that I love to have a new Pokemon around. Why don't you head up towards Icky Town and see what you discover in Alola? She says she would like to have a new Pokemon around, so it's my job to go and get a Pokemon, but I'm gonna go on a fucking adventure and save the world, Mom, so you're not gonna get to, get to spend any time with the Pokemon. So what the fuck? Hey, look at them flowers. Oh, that's us. I can move. Whoa. Whoa. So we can go to Icky Town. Yo, our house is big as fuck, dog. Hold the fuck up. Does it matter which way I go to Icky Town? Oh. They're building the Pokemon Center. Lit. You can go with me if you dash with B. What do you think of my song? It's bad. Dog, look at all the fucking flowers. Dog, the colors are so fucking vibrant, dog. They did not have all these fucking flowers in the first game. And Sun and Moon. They did not. They did not. It was just bushes. They did not have all these flowers and shit. The power of science is amazing. You can enjoy a festival with people from around the world without taking a step. Each day is a festival when you can do that. See, that's Kalaii Bay, or however you pronounce it, where you found the bag on before, where you could fish and shit. They have an island there now. What's on the island? Is it the lost island? Something is coming at you from the tall grass. Better call Professor Birch. He can show me how to run. This little bitch, I'll kick you in the chin. He said, "Yeah." Why? You came out of the grass to fuck with me. <gasps> gang, gang! Hoo hoo, bitch! Rawr! Bark, bark. I get it, because it's a sea lion. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Why does Young Goose say, yeah? Yeah, trick. Yo, do we get all three? Give me all three! Bro? 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 <gasps> Kakashi! Hey there, cousin! Kakashi! Hang on, I know you. You're Nappy, right? You okay? I saw you get attacked like that. Uh, I was scared spitless. Yeah, I got a bit of help. Looks like you did, though, Kakashi, though I shouldn't expect that. Yeah, I didn't think those little fellows would dash on their own to help us save a stranger. But I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon Paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Gakui, yeah, the Pokemon Professor, Kakashi. People and Pokemon live and work together here in Alola, too. Don't you ever forget, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon in your corner. Wild Pokemon can be lurking in the tall grass, yeah. Just waiting to leap out you and bite you, but you'll be fine if you got a partner of your own. Hey there! Here, let me introduce you to the Pokemon that helped you just now. Dog. We get to choose our starter immediately. It's no more waiting. Yo, now Jay has no excuse to soft reset his rally. It takes all the four seconds, dog. You save your game, do the Young Goose animation, boom. Choose your mom. This is the Grass-type Pokemon, Kakashi. Hoot hoot, bitch! And the Fire-type Pokemon, Litten. Rawr. And the water type Pokemon, Poplio. Hmm. You see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner. 
Woo! Surprise, bitch! Here, maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on and choose the one you like to keep as your partner, cousin. Oh no. Oh no, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Hold on. Oh, I had to calm down the basic white girl in me. It was about to come out and spaz. I had to get my coffee. Wait! 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 What do I choose? Why don't you go ahead and choose the one you like to keep as your partner, cousin? <sighs> okay. So peep this. When we played through Sun and Moon last year, I chose Populo as my starter. Right? That was my starter. Frankie was with us for ever and ever and ever. Frankie was dope. And I really want to choose Frankie again. Because honestly, Poplio is the best starter. I'm sorry, it is. But, when we did our Moon Wonderlock, we had Rowlet as our starter. And now we're in an alternate timeline. So I feel like it's only appropriate for us to choose Lid. But I really don't want to choose Lid. I really want to choose Poplio. I really want to choose popular because I'll never get the chance to use it again. You know what? Once I click the button, I can't stop it. I can't stop it. Litten may use fire type moves, but it's one cool cat. Rawr. So you want to go with the fire type Pokemon Litten? Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Oh, I should have chose Poplio! Ah! Yeah. Oh, look at this cat. Don't worry, I will grow to love you. I will grow to love you. Don't worry. I will grow to love you. I will. I promise. I promise you this much. I will grow to love you and care for you as if you were my own. It's just... This is our third time playing through the Lola region. So I went with the last starter. Lit. Get it? Lit, tin? Flit? Do we give Lit a nickname? Are we male or female? We are male. Alright. I'm naming it right now. I was, I was unsure of who to choose, but I'm sure of the nickname. We are choosing... Bradshaw. <laughs> it's such a like an adult name. It doesn't fit a little cat at all. But I'm naming it Bradshaw for multiple reasons. You guys don't know, I'm a fan of WWE. I watched it all growing up, and I watch from time to time now as well. And there was a wrestler by the name of JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield. And his finisher is finishing maneuver. WWE doesn't have finishing maneuvers anymore. They're like signature moves. Because so many people kick out of their finishing moves that it's not a finishing move anymore. So it's a signature move that he had called the clothesline from hell. Now, Torque and not Torque Cat. Lyndon Torque Cat. What's the last one? In Cinderor's Z move is called the Darkest Lariat. A lariat is another word or another name for clothesline. Or clothesline is another word for lariat. So when I see Darkest Lariat, and it's the clothesline from hell, it literally just fits. Like, that's that's the connection that I have. Like, his finisher was the clothesline from hell. This is Darkest Lariat, Dark, Hell, Fire, Hell, Bradshaw, the Incineroar, yeah. Bradshaw, the Incineroar, yeah. Don't ask me no questions, dog. Bradshaw's been added to our party. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy our little buddy is here. I told you, I will learn to love you as my own, dog. I will learn to love you as my own. Kakashi, so you went with Litten. Woo! What a fine looking team you two are. Now you can have Pokemon battles. You're what we call a Pokemon trainer. Here's a Pokeball for Litten, too. It should feel nice and cozy in there. Kakashi. Kakashi. Alright then, let's get going up to Iki Town. Nappy, woo! Time to meet the Island Kahuna. But why? Island Kahuna? Truth is, Kakashi, that partner of yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. So let's go show it off and say a proper thank you, cousin. It may not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Be careful about getting into a battle with one. Dog, I'll smack his ass, dog. I'll eat them cheeks, dog. Dog them cheeks, dog. Icky Town is right up here, Kakashi. Do I gotta beat this young goose's ass real quick, like, though? Is that what I need to do? Huh? Huh? Yeah? Get lit in there in that Pokeball I gave you. Get in the ball! Return! Woo! See? It's always a good it's always a good step if you, if you listen from day one, Doug. Hey, I'm out. Thanks for having me. Gonna go back this way. I wanna see what's around the corner here. Hey, Oli Outskirt. Yo, bitch, with the with the Meowth, you trying to battle? I like how that gate's locked as well. I feel like that's gonna be me for this entire LP. Like, I'm gonna want to like find out all the things that are different. 
Watch it, cuz. It's dangerous to get close to a Pokemon while it's using one of its moves. Oh, you son of a... So don't even let us go that way. That must mean that's where Necrozma is. Necrozma is hiding out on the east side of Route 1. That's where it's at. We're heading north right now. Yeah, because we start on the south side of the island. Lit! Hey, hey, hey. Is this like the Pidgey from X and Y? Is everyone... Bro, this... Okay, wait. The music? The the music? The, the top screen? The, 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 the encounter thing? And look at the bottom screen, dog! Look at the fucking bottom screen. Look at how dope that is, dog. Look, like, look at actually how dope that is. The bottom screen. They changed it. Dog. And look at the health bars changed, too. Oh, I gotta change this. It's gonna mess with my OCD. Ember has to be the first move. Ember has to be the first move. Look at this weak-ass young goose. This thing that ran up on me. This thing that ran up on me and Bradshaw. Right here. You? Pathetic. Poorly trained. Get out of here. Bradshaw's first battle already getting critical hits, dog. Already getting critical hits. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Get me out of here. Get me out of this grass. This grass full of weak Pokemon. I don't want to fight them anymore. I don't want to fight these weak Pokemon. Oh, you, I guess you guys are having a battle. All right. All right. I'm going to leave you, leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. Let you have your battle over here. Give me that potion. When Bradshaw's in battle, fucking these niggas up. We might take a hit or two, okay? We do what we need to do to win that battle. <sighs> it's my boy! I thought I put Bradshaw on the Pokeball. Hey, hey, which Pokemon are you gonna choose as your partner? Have you decided? It's next to me, dog. Oh yeah, I'm how. I couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself. Look at that, look at Bradshaw! Rawr. Oh, your litten is so cool. Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon. Sorry about that, Kakashi. I mean, how? We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Nappy choose his partner first without you. What if Hal wanted the Litten? That's fucked. Fair enough. I guess it was just fate for you guys to meet. But you could choose one of these two, Hal. The leftovers. Yo, Hal. Yo, Hal. Choose Papa, yo, dog. Choose Papa, yo, dog. Hey, my partner would be Rowlet. I choose you. God damn it, dog. Why couldn't you just take Rowlet? I mean, fuck! No! I take it back! Poplio, I miss you! I miss you so! I miss you so much! Hello, la friend! I decided ages ago that you're the one I wanted to have an adventure with. We're gonna do so much awesome stuff together. Just you wait and see. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Professor, you'll take good care of Poplio, all right? You better believe I will, Kakash. I mean, how? All right then, Poplio. Everybody, time to get back in your balls for now. Oh, that makes me. That hurts my heart, dog. Poplio is the kid that didn't get picked in gym class. Poplio's just chilling there on the sidelines, still with a smile on his face, trying to trying to do its thing, and just it just didn't get chosen. I really wanted to choose you, Poplio. I really did. I really did. Wait up! Me and Rowlet have a favor to ask. Be our opponents at our first ever Pokemon battle together. Yeah! <laughs> no! With an exclamation point. Hold on, Kakashi. Before you two step into the ring, let's make sure your litten is up to it. Save that potion, dog. See, that potion's gonna be secret tech. This nigga gonna get, like, a crit regularly from me or some shit. Or go for focus energy and then close combat me or some shit like that. I'm gonna be like, oh, potion, bitch! He's gonna be like, oh, oh no! We lost the battle. Alright, I'm seriously gonna enjoy this. I hope, I hope you do, too. I hope you seriously enjoy it, bro. Cause I, I'm, I'm enjoying myself so far. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Pokemon trainer, how? Dog? Dog? Why doesn't he have a full team of six? I'm so mad. They made the game so easy. He doesn't have a full team of six. What the fuck? That's a parody of your guys' parody of me. Mmm, lit. Tin. <laughs> Yo, what'd you go for? Tackle attack? I'm so glad I didn't choose Rowlet. That's a poorly trained Rowlet right there, if I've ever seen one. Why Hal standing like you want to ask speak to the manager? You notice that? Look at Hal. Can I speak to your manager? I'm mad. 
I bought this curling iron here a week ago, and it don't get hot. I want to speak to the manager. <laughs> why why I look like that, Doug? Why is that his battle pose? I don't get it. Oh, our first defeat. Sorry, Rowlet. Doug, how you get blown back in the first battle, Doug? I don't want to see how with a Mega Evolution. I don't want to see how with a Z move. Because that nigga, no. They just lost the first thing. Good enough. Oh, I was awesome, Nappy. You and Little were both so cool. You gotta have the kind of battles where everybody has fun. You and your partner, Pokemon, too, you know. Kakashi, right on, Nappy. You and Hal both brought out the best in your partners and put up some spectacular moves. Yeah. Icky Town is right up those stairs. Come on, Nappy. If that was the best in his fucking mind, that's shit. You should totally check out Icky Town. That's what you just said we we're gonna. Uh, Alright. Alright, buddy. You do what you must. Yo, this fucking wild encounter music is wild, dog. Alright, remind me, remind me you guys, after this battle, like this is a stream or something, remind me after this battle to swap Ember, because I want Ember to be up front. Yo, scratch him, rawr. Look at Bradshaw putting in the work, dog. Actually, I need to swap Ember and check out Bradshaw's nature and everything. What if Bradshaw is like adamant, dog? If he's adamant, I'm clicking Flare Blitz every time he comes out. Does Incineroar get Flare Blitz by level up? I feel like it should. I feel like it should. If it doesn't, I feel like it should. Oh my goodness, look at this! Look at the bottom screen, dog! Look at the save button! Bro! That's dope, dog. That's dope. It's the little things in Pokemon games. I'm sorry. It's the little things that blow me away. So this one's gold. So does that mean in Ultra Moon, it's like... Purple or something? Let's see, what is Bradshaw? Bradshaw has an... It's modest nature. Uh, okay, I don't think that's necessarily perfect for Incineroar, but at the same time, it's a starter Pokemon, so all of their stats are kind of alright. So I think we can find a way to make it work. I think we can find a way. Uh, modest, it lowers attack. Okay, so then we'll just teach it special attacking moves. It'll be a dark pulsing flamethrowering Incineroar, as opposed to a flare blitzing darkest larry ting. Even that's the whole reason for his nickname, but... Silver lining. It's a decent nature, somewhat. We're, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna work with it. God damn it. Kakashi! And we're here. This right here is Icky Town. Icky, like, Icky Vicky. Also, Icky. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tabu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? He sounds like your fucking sugar daddy or something, dog. The fuck? He gives us good dick and food on the table. <laughs> Gashi! Looks like the kahuna's nowhere to be found, though. I guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that needs fixing, yeah. Oh, yeah! The kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, singing like a little ditty or something. I'm gonna go stop by home for a second. I gotta show me mom Rowlet. Oh, this is different. Kagashi! Hey, I've got an idea for you, Nappy. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to Tabu Koko. That's our island's guardian deity, yeah. Why don't you go and introduce yourself? If you're real lucky, maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the guardian deity yourself. I'll stick around here and see. wait to see if the kahuna comes back. Swerve, bitch. Swerve, bitch. Hold up. I feel like most of this is just going to be copy and paste from the last game. And I, I, yo, I'm getting like so much deja vu, so many flashbacks from our first Sun and Moon LP of when we like talked to all these people and they didn't give us anything at all. Oh wait, I see him. I see my first totem sticker. That's it right there. You see it? The gold shit shining. So we get Tauros charged. We can come back here and smash this and get this. Yo, we can get totem sized Pokemon that way. Did you guys know that? Totem sized Pokemon you can get from collecting your totem stickers or whatever it's called. Dog, I'm actually, I don't know why I'm actually really hyped for totem stickers. Don't ask me why, out of everything they added to this game, it's so simple, it's so basic, but I, I don't know why. I just, I just really want, I just really want totem stickers. I want to collect them all. Gotta catch them all. I'm like, also, 
like m like mini triggered right now because I'm trying to like resist from oh there's, there's a path back there I'm trying to like stop myself from pushing up on the d-pad and summoning Tauros because it's like I don't have Tauros so I can't ride the Tauros it just feels so slow moving like oh moving molasses like I have the Bane from Borderlands 2 on excuse me excuse me Everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, it's so offensive. It's just if you don't get the reference, then you don't get the reference, dog. Oh big boy, oh big boy. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. I didn't come through here. So there really isn't anything else here. It's the start of the game. We must do what we must, dog. Gotta run up here. So I feel like I feel like I know what's about to happen. Mahalo trail. Mahalo. Going to pay your respects to the guardian deity, it's a fickle one, but I hope you meet it. I feel like you just gotta give dab to all meows you meet. Be like, yo, what up, little nigger? And he just dabs you. And little little coins fall out between his knuckles. That'd be lit, to be honest. <laughs> That'd be lit if I'm being real with you. But I feel... I know, I know, I'll take you to the ruins. So please stay in the bag. We can get in trouble if anyone sees you. Look here, little bitch. I was gonna say I feel deja vu on all this, and like the whole point in this is that it's it's the same story on alternate storyline. So I like how they're they're really embracing that so far, where it's like the same key points are happening, but the way that you get to it happens differently because it's an alternate timeline. Not everything is the same. I like it. I like it a lot. Will it be Spiro this time that I'm gonna get barbecued? I feel like that's a detail you could have changed to Game Freak. To be honest, I was just talking about it. Literally just mentioning it, I was talking about it just now. That's the detail you could have changed, if I'm being honest with you. you. Know why you didn't do that? You could have had like. Pit ups. I was I was about to say uh Taylor, and I'm like, no, nah, Swell is dope. And I was about to say, uh, uh what's the first evolution? Starly. And I was like, no, Stratford's dope. So I had to think of a mod that was like <laughs> bummy. <laughs> I don't want no goddamn unpheasant. What the fuck? No, thank you. Not interested. Bro, look at all this majesticalness. I am falling for it. I am falling for it, ho. Ah! Uh, who are you? Never mind me. You have to help it, please. Save Nebby. Alright, look here, little bitch. Look here, little bitch. I'm coming. Don't get mad. Those spear are attacking it, but I'm not a trainer. I can't. You're useless. Please, please save Nebby. I'll hit your Pokemon for you, so. Are we fighting? We fighting this time? Hey, boy. Bring them chi- I'll run your fucking fade, nigga. Come here. Yo, this music gets me so amped every single time. It gets me so fucking amped every single time. Let's go, big dog. Let's go. You wanna... You, you, me? Me. It's it's inconceivable you wanna throw hands with me. Boy? Smacked up. Leer me again, dog. See what happens. Yo, that's dope. They give, me, they give you another chance to fight, dog. Smacked up, dog. Smacked up, dog. And here I was doubting Game Freak's changes. They can let us fight, yo. We're about to be like level ten by the time we're done with this. These these Fearo, these Fearo are gonna feed us soap. What if there's a Fearo that pops up, and Top of Coco's like, no bitch. You managed to chase off one of the Spiro, but oh, there, there there's still more. Please, please help Nebby if you can, but be careful. It looks like that attack may have damaged the Plank Bridge too. Why is Plank Bridge in caps? That that's the name of it, Plank Bridge. Like a mama bird or something. Hey, 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 back the fuck up. Bitch! Cooked. Roasted again. Straight into oblivion. Like, he didn't just attack them and they fainted. Like, he hit them and they just went poof. Just feathers were left. 
What up, little bitch? What up, little bitch? That's what that's what Tabu Koko said. He landed. He was like, "What up, little bitch?" Just took off. Why can't they just let Tabu Koko be our starter? You ever think about that? And the first trial can be water. The second trial can be flying. I don't see what the problem is. The fourth trial can be fighting. Fifth can be dark. Seems fair enough to me. Shut up, Nebby. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. I couldn't even help you in return. Pew pew, bang bang, bitch. What? What is that? So, Lily and Nebby are like Misty and Togepi, dog. Except Misty and Togepi are cool. I actually want to hang out with them. A, a sparkling, a sparkling stone? It feels almost warm somehow. Please, forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Who are you? I'm... I'm Lily. And I suppose... I suppose this stone must belong to you. We are a thief. We didn't even deny that. We just straight jacked it from her. Shit, like, it 100% wasn't ours. We know it's not ours, but we took it anyways. Lit. Please! Don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Listen here, little girl. I live has never existed if you give me the best top of your life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I, I know it's too much for me to ask, but... Do you think you could see us back to town? What if I said no? Dog, stop tripping. We straight, straight tripping. How's that song go? You got me tripping. Oh, I, I don't know the words. In love, in love. Is that Fergalicious? I don't know. I don't know what the name of that song is. It's escaping me. It's eluding me right now. I don't know. I don't know. That's gonna drive me crazy. I have to look it up. Kakashi! Oh! Nebby! You already met Lily, huh? She's my assistant, yeah. Bro? Bro! Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala? He said he had something to attend to, so he left to on his own. I was just... Uh, I'm taking a little stroll up to Mahalo Trail while I waited for him to return. And that's how you met our new neighbor, Nebby, huh? He just got to Alola yesterday. Help him find his way around, yeah. Way around the Leaf Village, Icky Tower Village. So, so you're one of the professor's acquaintances? It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back! Kahuna Hala has returned! Our guardian's chosen one is back! Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all of Lola. Yeah. God, suck his dick already. Jesus Christ. I was going to give him a what? All he did was he went for like to handle some errands, dog. He comes back to a standing ovation. What the fuck? Boy, I'll smack you up. How about you missed or something? Kakashi. There you are, Kahuna Hala. Was there some kind of trouble? Oh, just got caught up in the middle of some brawling rock That's all. Sorry, really. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tabu Koko flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby got attacked by some spear on the plank bridge, and Nebby here helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Captain Savaho, dog. That's what I'm naming Tabu Koko when I say. No, I named him Shaka Zulu. That's the best nickname ever, dog. Kakashi! Woo! That's something you don't hear every day. Oh! How long it has said to protect us! Our Tabu Koko is a rather fickle creature, yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kokui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate! Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer on our midst! 
That's me. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alula. Young Kukuya told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Pew, bitch. Pew, pew, nigga. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should stay and still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Nebby, uh, well, it seems to have taken a liking to you. Uh, I have read that Pokemon like it when you pet them or take care of them, you know. You should gift us Nebby right now. So by the time I get to like the sixth trial, I'll have a Soul Galeo. <laughs> Kakui! Oh, Kakashi! <laughs> Alright, here's a lovely gift from me to help make today's special Nebby. What'd it be? Yo, they really are just flipping the script in this game, dog. A Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah, that can automatically record facts about any Pokemon you meet. Your new partner, Litten, is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out. And this is a trainer passport that I have put together for you. Well, you well, you got to meet the Kahuna at least. Ready to head home now, Nappy? Yeah, bitch, I'm out this bitch. Bye. Oh, yeah, Nappy, hold up a sec. Where have you been this whole time, dog? Uh, d what is it, How Did you forget something? You're seriously asking me that? Who's the one here who forgot to tell anyone before wandering off for a little stroll and a sing without a word, huh? Hmm, Nappy, would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? No, bitch, it's mine. I found it. Finders keepers. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that? You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge, isn't that what I heard, Nappy? Yeah, it rescued me. So it even does that. It even dined to give you a stun. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Nappy, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. You have the makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see the light within you too. You must do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. Kakashi, first I'll make sure you get back home safe today though, Nebby. Really, you two should come back with us too, yeah. Wouldn't want you losing, wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You're that precious Pokemon of yours. Precious Pokemon. Yes, I, I, I will keep an eye on. Oh, yeah? Oh, 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 you! Would you try not to escape the very moment you were told not to wander off? It's like Lily's Ajin or something. You gotta tell it to do the opposite, and that's when it'll do it. Bad TV show references! Ajin was lit, though. I don't give a fuck. It was, it was entertaining. I don't give you that much. They, they were dropped a couple frames, a couple million frames, but it was entertaining. Welcome back, Nabby. So what did you think of Kona Hala? Oh, and look who you've got with you. Rawr. 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 XD. It came running out to help you? What a sweet little thing. That's right. And it saved you. That's amazing. It must have been fate that you met. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. <laughs> Who's the fuck the new pussy in the house? Rawr. Yeah, sure thing. Just don't eat my fucking food. The next day. What a stunning sunset. Alright, today's the day I finally un- Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, Nappy. Why don't you make our butler Meowth do it? You made him come wake me out the other day. What the frick? The frick sauce? Who rings the doorbell and just walks right in? I don't get it. I'll never understand that. They do not them when they do it in here too. Kakashi, hey there, Nappy. It's about time we set out for the festival, yeah. But first, I gotta teach you. you uh, I got something to teach you. Yeah, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer, it's the most basic of basics. Come on, to Route One. Why do you do this to me, dog? Why do you do this to me? Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Meowth, nigga. That's me. That's me, nigga. Meow. Rawr. XD. 
so they literally just re <laughs> It's still the same stuff. They just reorganized in the beginning to give it a fresh feel. Gagachi! Nebby, hurry it up, cousin. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility. Didn't he say like extreme speed in the first game or something like that? Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your extreme speed. Okay, so is he actually gonna teach us battling basics after I've already had like six battles? Kagashi, yeah, over here. Like, I fought the Spearow, I fought a whole bunch of people, and you're actually gonna teach me battling bases now. So you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you in the tall grass, yeah? Now that you got lit in there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah, you can also try and catch them. Woo! I'm gonna show you to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize. Dog. 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 We. Kaku. Kakui. I've. I've. Kakui. It's. It's all. It's. Kakui. You know. I. I'm pretty sure. You got a weekend of a Pokemon for you. Oh. Oh. I. I apologize, Kakui. You're teaching me how to catch Pokemon. All right. All right. So you know. You know. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll never. I'll never second guess the professor. Ever. This thing got 50 Pokeballs. I'll never second guess the professor girl. There's a reason you have a doctorate and I don't. There's a reason that you're, you're the professor and I'm not, dog. There's a reason you can walk around with no shirt on and everyone thinks you're sexy as shit and I gotta keep myself fully clothed. It's alright, dog. It's alright. I apologize. I take it back. You got this. Alright! Kakui. I keep saying Kakushi. Kakashi! Got myself a grubbin'. I almost said Groudon. Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you. Yeah. If, and if your Pokemon get all tuggered out, you can always head home and rest up a bit. Yeah. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Lady Titty. You got 15. You give me 10, dog. We got six potions now. Lit. Kakashi, why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way to Icky Town, yeah? Take good care, Nappy Litton. Alright, so we ain't add no bum-ass niggas to the squad. I'm telling you that much right now. We ain't add no bum-ass niggas. So I remember the mods that we had uh, on our Sun playthrough. So we need to be a little diverse this time around. That's why we chose a different starter. This grubbin is about to be cooked. Anybody into this, some, some, some of that Asian street vendor cooking? Where you got bugs on sticks and shit, dog? I got a grubbin. Fresh out the fucking grill, out the oven. I got a grubbin fresh out the oven. Dog. I was gonna say the oven, but you put it on the grill. You don't put it in the oven. It would have rhymed, but it just it just didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work, dude. Anyways, let me slide up out of here. We're only gonna get dope ass mons on the squad, so I need to I need to think. I need to figure out who we're gonna add to the team. Cause I know we had we ended up passing up a lot of mons on our sun playthrough. Because I like, oh, I want this one, and I want this one, I want this one, I don't want that one, I want this one. Hey, bitch. When the eyes of Pokemon trainers meet, you know what's going to happen, right? A Pokemon battle. Listen here, girl. I don't think you actually fully understand. The music! like a fucking remix, dog. Yeah, they should get like Steve Aoki or somebody to come in and just remix the, the tracks for a Gen 8. That'd be lit, dog. I'm just loving this music right now. I'm sorry. It's pseudo. We're level 8 already. We haven't even, not even our first trial. All we've done is tutorial shit, and we already got level 8, dog. I'm telling you, you have to be level 10 before we even head into Hey Holy City, dog. We on the outskirts, straight getting hurt. No, we on the outskirts, dishing out the hurt. This youngster, about to get hurt. About to send his mom out, ain't gonna leave hurt. Mmm, bars, dog. That's, that's the new song, Hurt. 
it's coming on the iTunes and Spotify and, and what's the new thing all the artists say now? It's available on anywhere you listen to music. <laughs> it's so like blunt. I feel like one day, like a promoter or somebody was like, it's on iTunes, Spotify, and what else? Google, Amazon? Fuck this. Available everywhere you listen to music, nigga. <laughs> anyway, anywhere you trying to jam the fuck out, we got the song on there, dog. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Bro, we just got to Lola yesterday. Oh, look at that Wingle! Fuck that Wingle. We just got to Lola yesterday and we smacking niggas up already. If this was Odyssey, we'd be in the in the in the in the beach kingdom. We'd climb this pole and there'd be some purple coins at the top, dog. But alas, get these fucking wingle off my screen, dog. I'm not trying to fight them. Dog, wait, wait. Rockcroft is staring at you. What would you like to do? Change positions. Turn to the right. Rockruff seems to want to play more with you. What would you like to do with Rockruff? Play peekaboo. We're gonna scare it. Oh, I had to click A. I had to click A. What would you like to do with Rockruff? Turn to the left. What's happening? I'm lost. Only reason I walked up to this is because I remember from all the stuff that got leaked. You were supposed like, everyone thought this was this meant that like uh Everyone, like, I just remember this scene, everyone thought that this meant that Pokemon followed you. This one Pokemon follows me. What's happening? Rock is a really friendly Pokemon, you should try playing with it a bit too. Do I get something for playing with it? Like, eventually I just keep playing Peekaboo with it or something? And it'll give me a Rock Ruffinite? If, if we play with it enough and it likes us, will it give us the Lycanium Z or something? I'm lost! I don't fucking know! Look at this ugly bitch. Preschooler Oliver, how come you ain't in school, dog? It's not the summer. I don't care how hot it is outside. You need to take your little ass back into class and learn a thing or two, because you about to get smacked up in this battle. Right the fuck now. You about to get smacked up in this battle right the fuck now. Tokyo! Bradshaw is so well trained, dog! We got ourselves a top tier Litten. 200 IQ Litten, dog. Straight up. And if I'm not mistaken, I was gonna say I thought I saw something. Yo, that beat. Ooh. Ooh. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Hey. It's Nappy Boy. Playing Ultra Sun. Woo, woo, woo. Y'all thought I was gonna rap? I'm not rapping. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what voice to give them. So this is what they call a festival. It does look like people are having fun. Not as they should. As though this was a time, any time to celebrate. They seem robotic. Like they're. Yo, this theme. So dope! You don't have to try to act like you're not interested, you know? Maybe a festival isn't so bad sometimes. The aura measurements are pretty high too. Are they? It is only thanks to the binding, blinding one that Alola is overflowing with such brilliance. 
though the blinding one is left in such a state now so dark and enfeebled we've just got to make sure the blinding one can shine like it used to again right so let's get started by having a look around are you gonna notice us? <sighs> bro they're robots you are likewise new to the shores of Alola a fellow traveler from a distant land Dog, that theme is so awesome! Bro. That was way too lit. Look at this big nigga executor, dog. Bro. Everybody getting down. Everybody getting down. Woo! Everybody getting down. Look at this boy. The Alola region is made up of four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. We may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There might not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. Liddy titty. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up our first episode right here. How do, oh, it's down here. I was just like, how the fuck do I save the game? We're going to have our first episode right here here our first hour into ultra sun and moon is complete next episode will be up later today you guys already know how day one is going to be uh and like i said every 10th episode is going to be an hour from here on out so hit that like button for us if you guys enjoyed and you're hyped for some more ultra sun and moon and of course we want to show you boys a proud member of the nappy nation and i will catch you guys next time don't forget never forget can't nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking nappy nation can and i'll catch you guys next time thank you all so much again for your support and thank you for checking the video we are audi five bajillion Bye.